Hey, how's it going, everyone? It's your hobby cat here with some more of that Pokemon Scarlet Nuzlocke. Getting ready to take on the Ghost Gym. We got Salt. We got our shiny Murkrow. We found a Dust Ball behind the gym while I was off camera. So it's been evolved to a Haunch Crow. And a Virginia. Seems fitting after my wife and I did some research. We got Toxie because Snoodle evolved a while back. Hound Dower, so Serby evolved into Hound Doom, and then we got our other things. We should be good here to take on the gym. I might be a little more over leveled than I would want to be normally, that's debatable. But because of the format of this gym, this gym's a bit more of a challenge. On top of that, I really don't want to have to go and do more grinding just to get ready for the video after this one looking forward to the video after this one but yeah there'd be more grinding involved and i just got done bringing every pokemon in the party or well not even in the party but in the roster so everything we have options with up to 45 and that took a little while didn't even luck out finding a shiny there i was hoping but let's get started make sure to stick around to the end of the video we'll have another surprise trade probably not going to end up using it. I've been trying to avoid having to use anything from the surprise trades because I'm still not sure how I feel about it. But hey, at least it involves or brings in a little bit of variety into the content, you know? Hello, hello, hobby. How goes your treasure hunt? Figured out what you're hunting for yet? Sure have. That's great. Look at you knowing exactly what you're after. Many students choose to make the gym circuit a part of their treasure hunt. It's no easy feat, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. That's why I was waiting here, to make sure you know your homeroom teacher's got your back. And we got a lucky egg. Okay, dude. Egg filled with happiness that earns the holder extra XP points. This should be handy for your treasure hunt. I hope you'll keep working on that Pokedex of yours, too, since I did make the app and all. That's all from me. Just do your best and keep out of danger, okay? Yeah, being Nuzlocke and all my captured Pokemon numbers are a bit lacking. But what are you going to do, right? Welcome to the Montenevra Gym. Montenevra something. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Hobby, yes? Great, now in order to face Gym Leader Rhyme, you'll first need to pass the Gym Test. We're at the Montenever Gym, that means warming up the audience for the main event. That's right, you're the opening act. Your job is to get up on the stage, show us some dead fierce Pokemon battles, and get the crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. You can start the gym test by speaking with MC Sledge in front of the stage outside. Now get out there and have fun. I am conflicted on this gym. I really like it, but it does also seem like it's got the potential to be one of the harder gyms in a Nuzlocke, depending on what you happen to have. Yo, trainer, you the one performing the opening act today? My name's MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. So here's the deal. We're gonna have you do some double battles. That's where you have two Pokemon fight on each side. That'll let you sledge up double the opponents and get the audience twice as excited. The venue will be so hot, it'll melt the Montenevra snow. Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be the cue for our leader to take the stage. That's how you pass our gym test, yo. Your opening act begins as soon as you get up on stage. There'll be no backing down until you win. Three times in a row, so make sure you're ready. Get on the deeds for the opening act and our gym test. Ready to sledge him up? I'm ready. We just play it by ear, you'll do great. Head on up to the stage. So 
So many houndstones. What's up, Montenevra? Today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back double battles by our challenger here, Javi. The first of their three opponents will be a young performer who makes it look like a breeze. Are you sure this guy ain't a little too young? The one, the only, has. Double battles, that means one plus one, right? Can you do that math? I, I don't know, can, can my opponent do the math? Up it and Griever. No Virginia. Uh, he's just got the two, so we are going to. Hmm. Back down on the Griever. Then we will go ahead and foul play the Griever as well, just in case. No more Grievered. That works. Oh, so close. Old play. It took my sturdy? Oh, that's not cool. I mean, it's not going to survive, but that's not cool. Ow, oh, this battle's amazing. Or whatever. Um, assuming we make it to the final areas, I'm going to actually have to make sure that I, uh, slow down the tech speed because there's some parts that do more of a scroll than a wait for you to read it sort of thing, and it doesn't pop up as its own text bubbles, so. Uh, probably not going to matter, but we'll smack down again, and we will just go ahead and wing attack the Shuppy. Go Virginia. So, part of where this came about is I had planned on naming uh, Murkrow Poe in tribute to Edgar Allen. One plus one is two, right? All right? I don't know, kid. Um, then ended up being a female Murkrow. And so I was looking up what the inspirations for Murkrow are. And apparently on top of Crow, it's meant to be kind of a mob boss-esque in design. So my wife and I were actually researching like famous female, like not necessarily mobsters, but really high up. It had to be like top here in their organizations. And apparently there is a woman named Virginia Hill from back in the day who was associated with Bugsy. And I was like, well, that seems cool. Well, obviously what they did wasn't cool, but Bugsy is relatively well known. So it seems fitting for Honscrow. Take the prize money. <sighs> yeah, that's why Virginia's named the way it is. We found like five different options, and that one seemed to be one of, from what we were reading, seemed to be the most notorious, so that's the one I wanted to go with. Montenegro stage has all the latest tech. The more excited the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging. You got this. Our challenger's next opponent will be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lonnie. Strong compliments. The harmony of two Pokemon battling in unison. I mean, maybe but I don't know. I'm not really a doubles battle person. This to this and on. Okay. Also only has two, so we are going to... Uh, smack down the mischievous. And we will foul play the haunter. did more than I expected. Down. Thank you. Oh, 
Okay, okay. Trainer might actually be really good. Come on, you can do it. And this could have been going even better, except I was expecting something else. Dual assurance on the mischievous. And no more mischievous. Bonnie's down. Well, harmony, it was a cacophony. Ooh, more lights. I do actually really like the stage. Audience is really getting excited. They're opening acts, turn the cheering and the stage lighting up to 11. No surprise from our new challenger. Who'd have thought they'd sledge it up at this much? Next is your last opponent, and it's none other than me, MC Sledge, of course. I mean, was anybody expecting anything else? Being an MC isn't my only forte. I can battle too. I'll sledge you up real good in a double battle. Yeah, after you've been observing the whole time. Seems like an unfair advantage. Not that it'll matter. Sable Eye and Drift Line. We are back to full health. I am going to salt cure the drift limb. Foul play the sable eye. Put this up a little better. Ooh! Ooh, I was not expecting that. Okay, no more drift limb to deal with. That had me a little worried. And Assault Cure Procs, potentially. Ooh, okay, that's not cool. But the Assault Cure Procs, and we finish off Sable Eye. That was close for Virginia, that, that's not cool. And Virginia's, a, I like having a shiny. It was you who sledged me up. Audience excitement has reached a fever pitch. Oh, awesome. That was a great battle. How lucky. That was a rare sight. Thank you, Hobby. Congratulations. You passed the gym test. Give them a round of applause, everybody. Ooh, that darn explosion, you know. I feel a scary good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto. We're ready to go for the main event. Come on, everybody, say it with me. This is what you've all been waiting for. Give it up for the MC of RIP. Rhyme! Rhyme, rhyme, rhyme! What's all this noise I'm hearing? This crowd's so loud it could wake the dead. Tell you what I want to hear. Y'all feeling good? Yeah, hey, we're feeling good. Rhyme, rhyme, woo! Thanks for the killer open up, baby. And now I'll get the st starter for real. Congrats on the gym test. That was sick, yo. Thanks. Give us a minute for some rhyme time. Y'all feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staff for your past. All right, we'll report to the gym staff for here in a moment, but yeah, I need a quick bit of healing.
I need to grab a quick drink to get ready for rhyme. Should be good. I think my backpack is rather fitting for the area I'm in. Amazing job, Javi. You were a fantastic opening act. That's the gym test cleared, then. Well done. Now earn the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. You ready to challenge gym leader, the MC of RIP? Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. Now, apparently, also, this town is the one where you can do your bottle cap training. There's a guy, he's standing near a tree. I don't quite remember where he's at, but, yeah, he's here, apparently. Yo, yo! Sounds like there might be a rap battle going on over at the stage. It's my time. This is my day. You're not gonna stand in my way. Listen up, Rom. Your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cashier. Ugh. Boom, 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 boom. Pro cashier, well, I'm about to check out. Must have got your rhymes on deep discount. Please, you think you can step to my game? Fool, I got rhyme right there in my name. I'm a specter from which there is no protector, and victory unto me you will render when the crowd sees you're a mere pretender. You want to end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. Oh, I do like rhyme. I'm done, you won. My rhyme's totally whiffed, but I'll be back, maybe after my next shift. Hold up, where are you going? That's all you got? After my next shift? Seriously, bars over jokes, come on. That was over way too fast. It keep or gets born wearing the crown if no one makes me fight to keep it. I like this gym leader. Hey, my opener's back. You here for a rap battle or a gym battle? I'll go for a rap battle. <laughs> you got jokes. We both know why you're really here. We're captivated by that show I put on, huh? I rap what's in my soul, baby, weaving words onto a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me, you won't last one round. I'm like Sableye, my mean look will lock you down. Like that, you feel me? Heh, <laughs> well let's get to it. You're a Pokemon trainer, so battle me and show me who you are. My music's not all the tops of charts, my skills with ghost types are the best around. Lest you forget, the name is Rhyme, and I'm known as the MC of R.I.P. Better alive, let's make this a vibe. Whoever was writing her character seems to have had a lot of fun with it. I, I like this character. Amen and Mimikyu. We don't mess around in Montenegro. On my stage, we double battle. Don't let it scare you. We're going to set up a stealth rock right off the bat. Then... Foul play the bayonet. Go us an awesome battle, Rhyme, and you too, student kid. I don't really want to waste a big move on the Got a sneak, okay. Good, bayonet's down. Stealth Rock going. I 
Houndstone. All right. As you totally nailed that Pokemon's weakness without batting an eye. Ultra Attack Rose, nice. All right, we're going to. You know what? I don't know what it's gonna do. We're gonna salt cure the Mimikyu, then foul play the Houndstone. Flash. I don't like that. The Houndstone's down. I don't have to worry about last resort or anything. That would have been scary. Your hits. Guys goes off. Okay, it did take some damage, and it's still taking the salt here. That seems to have been a good call. Toxicity. I don't like that. Damn, this is so exciting. I think I'm going to leave you out for now. We're going to back down Toxtricity. We're going to swap out Virginia for We're going to bring out Serby. Eh. Toxie is tempting though because in theory it would be the Munich Ghost. You know what? No, we're gonna go with Toxie. I'm gonna bring out Toxie. Depending on how she's got her toxicity cleaned up. Kick back, relax, and enjoy this last track. Turn it up for a grave rattling good time. All the Houndstones. And the little boy. I like that one. When I'm on the mic, even the dead rise up. DJ G Rave over there, sure feeling it. Okay. Ow. Vulture goes off. That uh that really hurt. This crystallization is the bomb, you're really killing it, Rhyme. to risk it. I mean, 
Amy is one I rely on, so I'm gonna have to risk it. Oh god, even bigger. Okay. Good, good. If that's a crit, I can definitely take that. Ow. Mimic, you fainted, though. Back down. And that's enough to finish it off. I'm thinking the discharge hit Mimic, you. So that's fine with me. Prime has been defeated. Giving up the ghost not really my style. I'll let you have this one, though, baby. A ah, great battle. Chilling and thrilling. You got spirit, kid. You earned my gym badge, all right. And how about a VIP pass for my next show, too? I... Fix gym badges, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon up to level 50, and they'll listen to what you have to say, too. I'm feeling so good that I think I'm also going to let you have this. Shadow Ball, nice. Bad is over. Make your way back to my stage sometime. Maybe next time we rap battle. Instead, who knows? I'm sure you got some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering for you later. I think I got my punctuation wrong there. Sorry, everybody. And again, I'm not sure anyone actually cares. Greetings once more, Hobby. I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say, I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit even. Hardly had you sent out Garganical before you launched into your strategy. That unrelenting offensive, that flurry of attacks, what an efficient way to corner the opponent. And what artfully trained Pokemon, such a vibrant palette of moves. Ah, I do beg your pardon, I didn't mean to let my emotions run amok like that. Ahem. In summary, I simply wanted to say that you seem to have gotten even stronger. I must admit, I'm eager for you to gather all the gym badges. As a member of the Elite Four, I await the day you come to face me with great anticipation. Oh, but one thing, don't let your studies fall by the wayside. Be sure to come to the Academy now and then. Where's the fun in that? I do actually need to work on it at some point. Especially for the Meowth and some other things. Like the history classes for the uh, Ruinous Four or whatever you want to call them. Now, in the next episode, we have another Titan to go deal with. First, this is all dealt with. Yeah, I'm skipping. Alright, I believe it's this guy wrote right over here is the one that deals with the bottle caps. Yeah, hyper training, get it here, so that'll be your bottle caps. Grab a quick heal. I'm going to need to set up my party for the Titan. But I did say earlier that we would get a surprise trade in at the end, just for a little bit of variety thrown in. All right. So, go to the portal. Oh, 
Oh, this is the work. My internet was acting up earlier. Looks like it's doing well. This and one more Fido, and then I'm out of Fidos. I might go start breeding other things, but it's not necessarily for this. More for just uh, building out stuff for when the Nuzlocke is eventually done. I will keep everything separated and work on uh, anything else I catch. We'll just be off to the side and have stuff set up for when the DLCs come out. But we'll go ahead and trade off a of Fido. And I know what I'm hoping for, but I mean, we'll see what happens. I'd love to get a Quaxley. I think it is. The other starter. Not that I have any interest in Quaxley, but I'll be in, then be able to breed them because that is the one starter my wife's missing. And that would be the easy way to do it. Quick. Let's see what we get. Bye bye, Fido. Have fun with Rides. Okay. Uh, that is a Pokemon I like, and one that I was not allowed to go and catch on my own in this. Don't know that I'm going to use it, but I'm going to keep it in the back pocket as a just in case, I think, because I do like its final form. The reason this Pokemon causes trouble for those it feels close to is because Impidimp itself gets irritable if it can't absorb negative emotions. I don't know, something about the fairy dark type I just really like. All right. Well, that'll be all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed the series. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that standard YouTube jazz. I'm your hobby cat, and I'll see you all in the next one.